Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun, so if you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game of today's episode is called The Lost Dog. You can clearly see that there's somebody looking in through the window. Some peeping Tom looking dude. My dog is right there. It looks like we're scolding them, but hopefully we're not. Hopefully we're just saying, you a good boy. Oh, you ain't such a good boy. What's up, boy? Wanna go out? Oh, it's too late. Maybe I could take you out. It won't last long anyway. That's what your mom said. The door opened. I like how we have a subtitle for the door being opened. Ten minutes later. So it took ten minutes for your dog to take that fat chimichanga shit? What's wrong with you, boy? We're just gonna pretend that's not a grown man making dog noises. Hey, where are you going? Wait! Guy running. Okay, we obviously know it's a guy running, I guess. Going through the bushes and leaving. <laughs> Seven minutes later? Why is it so exact? There you are. Come back, boy. Don't go in that building. Stop growling, my boy. The dog growling? What is... Is this an actual game or am I just reading something? <laughs> 52 minutes later? What is happening right now? <laughs> if this dog's growling 52 minutes later, I'm done with this game. What happened? Something hit me in the head. What? Oh no, my dog! Where is he? So now it begins. Someone took it! I have to find it! He's maybe in that building. <laughs> Guy running again, bruh! <laughs> Game opening! This developer said, fuck all the animations. We are doing everything in subtitles and asterisks, baby. All right, chapter one. No, you shift button to run. I'm surprised that I'm not just gonna run to a black screen and then it's gonna say guy running. But yeah, our dog is lost and we need to find him, okay? Find a way to enter the building. What building? Whoa, what is up with this game? Oh, I can't even turn left and right. Oh, this is something I wouldn't wish this on a worst enemy type shit. Okay, what is that? What is that? That's the key, bro. What is this? What is this game? All right, I got a key. It's so hard to turn, and I can't change any settings. It's so weird. You all see that? That's weird as shit. Okay, so now we enter the building. At least this game gave me a good laugh. Hmm, strange. Why is it turning like this? the heck yo come on i just want to see my dog it's so dark in here looks like i need that flashlight which i already grabbed okay search for my dog oh my goodness what is this what is this game everybody maybe i should check the other rooms first okay yeah the controls are weird what if you reading this, you are probably in my situation too. Anyways, I lost my dog. I heard this barking right here, but I don't know where it is. Only what I found important here is one blue door. I suppose that blue door leads to next part of the cellar, but it needs some item to open it. The items are hammer. Damn, ink spilled all over the text. Ink spilled like that? Did the ink really spill? Wow. Okay. All over the text. Sorry, but I'm running out of space to write anyways. You have to find these five items if you want to open that door. And if actually someone is reading this, please find my dog, William. What the actual fook did I just read, bro? This seems like a game that was made for VR. Because when I turn, it looks like I would have to use a VR headset and then turn like, like this instead of just like smooth turning. So this shit is so weird. Look at that. That is so freaking bizarre. Okay. I don't like this. Find five items and unlock the blue door. What the heck are you talking about? Oh. Okay. This is random as shit. Let me in. What? Okay. I have no idea what's happening. But I'm this close to nexting this game without having beaten it. Oh, found something. 
I found a wrench. Oh my god, this game is terrible. This might be one of the worst games I've ever played. It's definitely top two, and it's taking both spots right now. This is ridiculous. What the hell is that? Oh my god. What a barking. Is that my dog? Yeah, maybe. But before we do anything... God damn, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous, it's goddamn ridiculous. This makes me want to throw up. I'm not trying to be a diva, but goodness. I'm getting motion sickness. Can I open this? No? Okay. Oh my! That should not have scared me, bro. That looked like a piece of my dog shit just flying across the screen. I'm sorry for this. Like, can you all forgive me? This is bad. This is real bad. Oh my fuck. Yep, I think my dog's gonna die. Sorry. Ah! What ah! the heck? Bro just flipped down. Freaking did the splits on the dick. Like, what is that? This is where that thing goes across the screen, right? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe that scared me the first time. That is embarrassing. I have first, second, and third hand embarrassment from that. I'm afraid to turn because, like, the turning is just so ass. I don't want to give anybody a headache. Like, that's just not what I'm here for. I don't record videos to give people headaches. There's the blue door. Yeah, buddy. Come on, open sesame, bitch. Can't believe this. Oh, great. Great. Task, check the surroundings. Okay, there's another note here. You probably saw that locked door in the hallway. Behind that door, I heard a dog barking, but I don't know what's behind it. If anyone reads this, let them know that I went outside to find the key that unlocks that door. I found out that the key is somewhere outside in the car, something like that. P.S. that the door is still locked. Know that I didn't succeed. It caught me. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> How did that thing catch you? So freaking stupid, bro. All right. Let's get that ladder and let's get outside. I didn't even see a door to the outside. Follow the path and find the key, then head back to the cellar? Really? Whatever. I'm gonna follow the path. What is that? Why did my light keep turning on and off? This light sucks. This light sucks more than this game. Ah! <laughs> Cool. I got a key. Now what? Head back to the cellar. Oh, shit! Okay. I need to go back to the cellar, but I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Please. Please, 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 please. I just want to find the dog at this point. Honestly. I just want to. There's no other reason for me to be completing this game. I just want to find the dog. Yes. Is that it? Oh, that is the cellar. I cannot believe that. Unlock the door that leads to the final door. What the hell is this? Are these the remains of William? Wow. And this person just had a shitty drawing of a dog. But there's a husky dog. What? what? Why are you side-eyeing me like that? What? And now I have a gun? I got a pistol. I will bring back my dog no matter what. Let's go. Aim game has to be on point. I'm the aim god. Where you at? Hello? I'm trying to find my dog. Shout out to all my dogs out there. I'm trying to find the right one. Bro. Is anybody coming? What is this? Who took my damn dog? At this point, just have him. I'll get a new one. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to have to shoot somebody. What the fuck? Is that just a cutout of a husky on the right? Kill the creature. Wait. What, killed the creature? What are you talking about? What? It's not- ah! Ah! It wasn't letting me do anything. Everything hurts me. You had a gun with seven bullets, my dude. I can't move my arms or legs. Everything is dark. I'm not gonna feel sorry for you, dude. You should feel sorry for me. I did all that. I had to go through all that. I cannot take it anymore. I see something in the distance. It's getting closer. Am I supposed to be caring? Is that my dog or... <laughs> Is that my dog or... <laughs> oh my goodness. It hurts too much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please. Is this the death? I don't know. Maybe. All the pain stopped. No, I'm still playing this game. The pain is still here. 
I see clearly now. Yeah, I see how shitty of a game this is. Yikes. Oh my goodness. That's not my dog. It never was your dog. Never was your dog, never will be. It's God. Look, I feel bad about taking a fat dump ski on that game that I just played, the one about the dog. So I'm playing another game from the same developer. Maybe that one was just like an experimental type of game. And maybe this one is like a heavy hitter. This one is called Plankton is Not Dead. Easy, medium, or hard? I'm going medium because that other game was hard. Plankton stole five Krabby Patties from you. You have to take them back to Krusty Krab. Got it. Task, return five Krabby Patties. Yeah, look! The way the mouse moves in this one is, like, really smooth. Hold on. It's almost like it's way too freaking smooth. But I got one Krabby Patty. And there's Karen. What's up, baby? Girl. All right. Let me see if I can open this. E. Oh, boy. Where is Plankton? Where's my man Planky? Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, crap. Okay. He looked like he'd been eating ass. He's not eating these ass. These ass? He's not eating these ass. He's definitely eating these ass because I don't even know how to say it right. Okay, I have two Krabby Patties. This man looked like he want brains. He looking like he wants some brains. I need to stop. I need to stop. The assness of that second game was getting me. Sandy? Sandy's really cheeks right now. Bro, don't. Don't! Stop it! Play gone! What? Just going by that jump scare, I think I'm going to skip this one. Next game today's episode is called Death Tapes. This comes from the same developer that made The Smiling Man, and that game scared the hell out of me. And also the game about, like, the slasher camp. One of the jump scares got me so freaking good, so I'm pretty sure that this game has at least one good jump scare per game, so I'm already prepared. Like, I'm just like... You know, getting my voice ready, but this is called Death Tapes, and we've seen many games that have to deal with, like, tapes and just, like, you know, finding footage tapes. I mean, found footage games. You know what I mean? WASD to walk. Get out of bed is E. That's strictly for getting out of bed is the E button. Left mouse button interact, RB to zoom. Go to your apartment number 39. Okay, here we are. Finally, I'm home. I'm exhausted. Okay, Eric, nobody really cares. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, buddy. So I'm going straight to bed because I am going to press that E button so freaking hard. So let's go to sleep. 3 a.m. Uh-oh, that's the spooky hours. Uh-oh, everybody. Imagine having to take a piss at 3 a.m. You know the ghost is watching that ass. What is that? Oh, I thought that was a person watching me. What? You've got to be kidding me. Who's knocking at the door at this hour? Well, let's figure it out. Go check the front door, you say. Jump scare city on my titties. Oh. What? A VHS tape? Who left it here? Yeah, VHS tapes don't knock. Or do they? All right. Give me that. Take the VHS tape and put it in the player. Why would you just randomly do that? And who has a VHS player these days, huh? Nobody, that's who. Oh my god, what's that? Someone taped my apartment. It must be some kind of stupid prank. I made him sound like that because Eric Scott's a little bitch. Go to sleep. Again? Why? Por qué? I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared so freaking hard right now. But yeah, we're just gonna go to sleep. I'm already preparing my butt cheeks, everybody. Because there's definitely gonna be someone standing at the door. Eventually. 9 a.m. Okay, at least the sun's up. Does anybody ever feel less scared once the sun starts rising? Me. This guy. But yeah, it's 9 a.m. So what's spooky that could happen at 9 a.m.? Like, just go outside, and then they'll burn in the daylight. Right? Are we good? Go to sleep again? Go to the kitchen and eat the cereal. Yes, boss. Who the hell's commanding me right now? Go to the kitchen and eat the cereal. Bro, that looked like a dog bowl. Okay, you want me to bark and wag my tail and lick my balls or some shit? Like, that honestly looked like a dog bowl. I'm offended. There, I've eaten. Now I'll go to work. Take the elevator to work? Got me messed up, bro. Okay, take the elevator to work. Why is this creepy? I don't like this. I'm like wobbling. I think there was like some alcohol inside of my cereal or something. 
but we're going in the elevator hours later these game developers they really like just fading to black and telling you things that happen like moments later go to your apartment uh oh finally home i need to sleep i am very very sleepy well, let's go to sleep, you freak. I don't even know why I called him a freak. I'm sorry about that. The knocking has begun. That again? Damn it. Yes, that again. What? What is going on? Why is it so hard for me to control this? What the heck? It feels like I'm moving to the right automatically. Another tape? What? Look, my thing is moving on its own. Bloody VHS tape. Bloody hell, mate. All right, let's put that in, and let's see what we got. My controls are weird. I felt like I was possessed or something. But let's see what we got going on over here. More footage of my front door. Thanks. <gasps> what the hell is that? Is that a head? And a person on the side? Bro, head right at my doorstep? Sign me up. Go outside and check the apartment. Why would I do that? This person really wants me to check outside for that head. All right. Uh oh, what is that? What is that? Whoa, my fuck! Whoa, 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 my god, bro! I'm done. I can't. What? That dude got a freaking 1600s medieval sword in his hand. Death tapes. That was it. Last game on today's episode is called Meat Madness. Sounds like what this game's mom calls me. But let's start it up and let's get to it. The year is 2104. Oh, goddamn. The Earth has depleted its resources. And a mysterious planet-sized creature has appeared on the edge of our solar system. To feed the starving Earth, Ingesticorp mining expeditions have been sent by Ingesticorp to harvest the meat planet's flesh. Unknown to the public... Most expeditions end in disaster. To protect its image, Ingesticorp hires recovery specialists. Well, if you're hiring me, you're definitely not going to protect your image. Recovery specialists retrieve neural scans and DNA samples from miners who meet gruesome ends on the meat planet. In labs on Earth, missing miners are cloned and returned to their families as though nothing had gone wrong. You are John Stewart, age 27, condition stable. You are a recovery specialist hired by Ingesticorp to recover samples from the crew of the DSV Provender, whether you find them dead or alive or worse. Initializing. Wow, what a start to a game. I understand none of that. And this looks like an inflamed asshole. First time on recovery? Brimley nods toward your neural scanner. Pretty nifty, huh? Name, age, physical condition. Hardly even need to talk to anyone anymore. Heh <laughs> heh. Well then, are you ready, Stuart? Or do you need a reminder on how to proceed? Uh, remind me. DSV Preventer's Black Box says the crew went AWOL a few weeks ago. You need to head down into the mining pit behind me to recover samples. Just walk up to a crew member to collect a neural scan. The lab rats will use it to clone them back on the home world. As for DNA, eh, well, you have your scalpel? Try to cut at least 50 grams of muscle. Oh, and bonus good too. That's what the lab rats tell me anyway. Be careful climbing down. Recovery specialists have augmented joints for heavy impact, but they won't save you from a long fall. If it gets dark, you can toggle your suit's flashlight by pressing F. Can't collect a good sample if you're as blind a clone. Ha! <laughs> Don't stay in one spot for too long either. My last partner got sucked in. Poor guy. Happy clone though. House and kids. Beautiful wife. Anyway... Try to find samples for as many of the DSV Preventers crew as you can, but don't come back without a scan of Jackie Voss, the ship's captain. Word is Ingesticorp will pay top dollar to get her back. Don't make me wait for too long, Stuart. This place gives me the creeps. Got you, got you. Alright, here we go. Down into this big old freaking stink hole. Wait. Did I just die? Your legs are broken and you stranded. It doesn't take long for the meat to suck you down. You scream as it smothers you. But don't worry, recovery will come for you soon. I died? Oh. I go down like that? Okay, my bad. I just thought I'd jump into that. I thought I'd just go balls deep. That's my bad. Okay, so we just have to follow this ring. And yeah. That's what we do. It honestly looked like the game developer typed in 93.7 lean ground beef and then just 
stretched it over the walls of this thing. It honestly looks like ground beef. Like raw ground beef. But damn, I gotta do this? Oh wait, no, I can do this. <gasps> Sweet. All right, there we go. Oh, uh, I don't have to do all that. I'm like that. I'm Himothy. All right, let's see, what's this? Your neural scanner blinks. Identity, Li Yin Chen, age 55, condition stable. Hey, hey you, you're here to save us. Oh shit, mother, you're right here? Why are you looking at me like that? Look, we, we were drilling and then something picked up on the high frequency scanners. Something big. I don't remember anything after that. Listen, after you get me out of here, we need to help Jackie and the rest. I was on the surface when we were hit, but they were deep in the pit. You have to help them. Hey, what are you doing? You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Yi Chen. He winces and gasps in pain. Oh, wait, you, you're here to help. You're on recovery. Oh, God, no, please don't leave me here. I'm going to die down here. I don't want to die. I don't care if they clone me. It won't be me. Help me. Yi Chen sobs. He does not know he is too far gone to save. Put Li and Chen out of his misery? Yes. You slash his throat. Goodness. He lurches for a moment and stops moving. The meat around him twitches as if irritated. I'm so sorry, Yi Lin Chen. But, see, the thing is, my scalpel says differently. I'm sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, buddy old pal. All right. Let's do that. Ooh. Damn, what is this platformer? All right. Oh, this is nuts. This is nuts, bro. Wow. Okay. This is a little platformer game. It's a little spicy. All right. Here we go. Think someone's up here, right? Yes. Hello. Your neural scanner blinks. Identity Clark Lambert. Age 37. Condition critical. Who's there? Gravin? Boss? Come closer. I can't see. My eyes. It's using them. It can see through me. We shouldn't have dug further, Jackie. Injustice Corp lied to us. The heart. Oh God, the heart. I can still feel it, still beating. Why did you let us go further? Now we all die. Lambert chokes and groans as the meat pulls him closer. Help me. You've got to help me. I can feel it eating me. It's eating me alive. Lambert groans pitifully. You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Lambert. He hardly seems to notice. It, no, they can see you. And they hate you. They hate us. They see our bodies and feel nothing but disgust. Disgusting. 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 Get it off me. Ah! Lambert's voice is muffled as the meat covers his mouth. Put Clark out of his misery? Yes. He slashes his throat. A hollow rumbling noise begins below you, then stops. That's sad. Fuck. What a way to go. The meat was consuming him. This reminds me of another game that I've played. Or maybe it was like a movie that I saw. I don't know, but this is actually pretty sad. Like, you want to save these people that were just trying to explore this planet. But then this stuff happens. And you just got to put them out their misery. And then the deeper you go, the more my butthole is clenched because I definitely don't want to die. But I think the next person is down there. Yeah. Right down there. But I just got to be careful, everybody. I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Okay. There you go. Your neural scanner blinks. Identity, Alexis Manos. Age 25, condition deceased. You approach Manos' body. Her expression seems peaceful, as if she were sleeping. You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Manos. Her body trembles and stiffens as if she had been electrocuted back to life. Tear your soul apart, more flesh on your bones, more flesh. A high-pitched ringing in your ears becomes so intense that it nearly brings you to your knees. Manos falls limp. John Stewart, we have waited for you. We have such wonders to show you. You cannot escape us forever, John Stewart. You will join us all in eternal embrace. The voice stops, and I didn't even get to read the rest. Okay. Um, this is gonna be something because I have to be able to make it like this, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna be bad. What the heck? Shit. Guys, come on. There's no freaking way I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um... Oh, I'm supposed to make it to that person. I can't make it. Shit. 
Uh, how am I gonna do this? Ah! I'm so dumb, bro. Oh, goodness. Okay. How's it hanging, my dude? Your neural scanner blinks. Identity, Wally Graven, age 43, condition critical. Graven coughs violently. Blood trickles down his chin. Just kill me. I can't take it anymore. When it takes you, it makes you feel everything that it feels. The whole planet writhing and breathing and speaking. Just let me die. Who are you? Recovery? Damn it. Don't tell my family what happened to me. Or my clone. I don't want to remember. I can't remember. Graven's eyes roll back. He smiles wickedly. It's getting louder now. Can you hear it, Jon Stewart? Can feel the heart? You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Graven. He hisses with pain and outrage. We will consume you as you consume us, and we will be one in suffering on our great white throne. He becomes unintelligible. Put Wally Graven out of his misery? Of course. You slash his throat. The meat around him writhes as if in pain. Your body hums to its rhythm. You empty your stomach on the ground in front of him. Oh. Is that a sophisticated way of saying I just threw up? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Where's the last one at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Ah! Watch this, everybody. Watch this. Ooh, got him. Okay, so I guess I learned a little trick. If you jump right before you're landing on a surface, you won't die. So watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, got it. Okay. And jump. I don't know if that's part of the game controls. Or if I'm just dumb and found that out now. Or if I'm a genius. But we found this man's. So let's do that. Wait, I killed him, right? I think I killed him. Okay. So, uh oh, uh oh, boom. Oh, shit. Whoa. Wait, I need to get there. How the hell am I going to get there? I messed myself up, didn't I? Okay, let's try this again, everybody. Let's go this way. That way. Jump. There you go. And jump. Woo! Your neural scanner blinks. Identity, Jackie Voss. Age 42, condition unknown. John Stewart, we have waited for you. Voss grins an impossibly wide smile. Come closer, John. Can you hear it? The heart is near. We are within it. It is all around us. Medicine, cloning. These things keep us alive. But we must consume. Ingestacorp knows this. And Ingestacorp keeps it this way. And even after reaching immortality, we still hunger for more. We dig deep to feed the earth because we were hungry. So hungry. But now we see with a thousand eyes and feel with ten thousand fingers. Pain and pleasure, indivisible. Let us hold you, John. No more hunger, John. No tears. No hate. She screams in agony as the tendrils of meat wrapped around her dig deeper into her flesh. Step forward and accept our undying love, John. You cannot resist. Put Jackie Voss out of her misery? Yes. You move forward to destroy what is left of Voss. The meat roils and shakes as you finish the job. Voss's lifeless body becomes one with the meat. You have successfully recovered the final sample of the crew of the DSV Prevender. On Earth, the crew's families will be happily reunited with their loved ones. Only you will remember what happened to the DSV Prevender. So we had the option to listen further, so I'm gonna see what Jackie has to say. You feel pounding inside your head, your sense dull until you can only feel Voss's voice. This time you understand me, don't you, John? Your body has been here, but your mind has forgotten. The crew of the DSV Prevender have become our first angels in Temple of Flesh. And you, John Stewart, you will be our messenger. Return to the homeworld and spread the seeds you have gathered from us. There we will multiply. We will make the homeworld see our way. Oh. So basically, we're just spreading word of this giant meat cult. Your consciousness joins with the meat planet. Your heart beats in the rhythm with its own. On Earth, the seeds have been planted and will become one with the meat. Wow. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.